This is a normal Jeep for comparison. Sheikh Hamad literally built a replica that is 10 times bigger than the original. Insane car collection of his signer Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nahyan, aka Rainbow Sheikh. He is such an important client for Mercedes that for his marriage in 1984, they shut down the plans just to paint and trim his S classes in seven different colors. And guess what? It even came with three color coated assault rifles. And this is not it. He owns over 3000 cars and a private jet. And on this video, I will show you some of his unique cars. Before this video starts, I'd like to thank his son, Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nehyan and his management team for inviting me over here. And Sheikh Hamad was supposed to be with us here today, but unfortunately he couldn't due to a meeting, but he'll be with us hopefully in the coming videos. In the meantime, let's take a look at some of his most unique and bizarre car collection. This, my friends, is the world's largest carrier. As you guys can see, this is not a four into four. It's actually, that's crazy. The name of this thing is Lark LH52. This thing was actually used in Vietnam War and it can run on water as well. The main usage of this thing was to transport soldiers and to transport vehicles as well. And this thing is huge. And guess the weight of this thing? It weighs 20,000 pounds. Up next, we have this Jeep. This is the widest Jeep you will ever see. What they did over here is this, that they took the chassis of a military car named Brusher and put the body of a Jeep brand new. Just take a look at this. Look how wide the car is. I thought the Amma H1 was the widest car, but this car is way wider than that. Oh my God, just take a look at the interior. Bro, it looks exactly like Hummer, right? Mm. Hummer H1. This is crazy. And he always comes with the craziest ideas. And over here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Nissan Petrol carrying another Nissan Petrol. Why you may ask? I don't know. But does it look cool? It does. <laughs> It's a Jeep. No, it's not actually a Jeep. It's actually a mixture of Jeep and Ram. What they did over here is that they literally built a Jeep Wrangler on a Dodge Ram chassis. Now, I can tell you that it's a Dodge Ram because come over here. Let me show you the interior of this car. You can see the Dodge Ram steering wheel. So literally, like think about it. They literally made a Jeep Wrangler from a Dodge Ram chassis. Look how long the hood is. This is crazy. I mean, the size of this tire itself is huge. Alright guys, so up next we have this GMC Monster 4x4. Just take a look at the tire on this thing. Now the speciality of this car is this that this car can literally drive on water. from international now you might be wondering what's the unique element of for this car just come over here this car comes with 10 doors <laughs> no way it's actually an international man come over here come over here let me show you the interior of this car and it's in pretty pristine condition and look inside okay well it, then <laughs> this looks like a school bus to be yeah. honest <laughs> it's crazy huh crazy i mean the modify the amount of modification it does to cars is like Unbelievable. Now this my friends is not a normal Dodge Ram. This was once used as Sheikh's swimming pool. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at the size of this bed. This my friends is the first and the only Nissan Petrol here in Dubai. Now that's crazy, yeah? Yeah, that's crazy. Alright guys, so up next we have this beast right here. This right here is a Nissan Petrol. But you might be wondering, what's the wow factor about this Nissan Petrol? If you come over here, you can notice that it comes with two engines. But not actually. What they did is this, that they bought two Nissan Petrols, cut them into half. And they welded both the front ends and it's the back end. So anyway, let's take a look at the interior of this beast. By the way, just like Rolls Royce, even this petrol comes with suicide doors. I guess the only petrol with suicide doors. Wow, this is crazy, 
Let's just take a look at the end part. I forgot to show you that. By the way, there's no engine on this side. It's actually a dicky. This is where you can store all this stuff. And we have the Nissan branding over here. And to be honest, when you drive this thing on the road, people will think that you are driving this car in reverse. Let's take a look at the interior of this car. You can see how clean this car is. Like literally, they have not driven this car much. As you guys can see, this car has only done 177 kilometers. And this car has been in their custody since 2006. Imagine. <laughs> Arabs in Dubai love Nissan petrol. Like to be honest, I prefer Nissan petrol over Land Cruiser. As a result, Arabs love Nissan petrol and G63. Just take a look at this Nissan petrol. This is actually a Nissan petrol pickup. Over here we have a 1200 or 200 Nissan petrol. And this, my friends, was inspired by a wheel. Why you may ask? I don't know. But it looks cool to be honest. <laughs> oh my god. And over here we have a convertible Nissan petrol. That's pretty unique. And we have another convertible design petrol. It's a uh, soft top. <laughs> Over here, we have a long wide design petrol, 6 by 6 It comes with 6 wheels. I'm not sure whether you guys can see. It comes with 6 wheels, and it's a long bed. And over here, we have another design petrol, 6 by 6 You guys have seen Mercedes 6 by 6 but over here, we have a Nissan petrol 6 by 6 And over here, we have a Jacker car. This car can climb stairs. We have the super rare car. This, my friends, is a Ford Model T Living Good Edition. You might be asking, what is this Living Good? If you come over here, you can see this gentleman right here. Jesse Franklin Living Good. Now, what he did is this that he made the first Ford Model T that's four wheel drive. And it's the only one Ford Model T that's four wheel drive. Just think about it. And he built this over 100 years ago. Just take a look at this. This car was built in 1940. Right now we are in 2021, so it's over 110 years. This is a very story of things. We have the windscreen. I'm scared to touch this thing because this thing is worth a lot of money. Over here in UAE, Hummer H1s are very expensive. It goes for around 500,000 dirhams. Now if you take a look at this, he owns a lot of Hummer H1s. Over here we have a Grizzly Hummer H1 and yeah, it's completely modified. Over here we have another Hummer H1. I have no idea what all of this is about. And over here we have another Hummer H1. I think it was used to carry fuel. Just take a look at the tires on this thing. Over here we have an Hummer H1 pickup truck. Another Humvee. Oh boy, this thing is crazy. And over here we have the world's first Hummer H2 and this was used as an ambulance. So guys that's it up for this video I hope you enjoyed so if you guys want more videos like this then make sure to subscribe with the like button and share this video and a huge shout out to Mario make sure to check his channel out link will be there in the description and Mario bye bye what do you think about these cars? It's amazing it's amazing well, what was your favorite car? My favorite car I think one of this which? Lada Niva Lada Niva, hey! <laughs> so guys, make sure to subscribe to Mario. Link will be there in the description. So yeah, that's it for this video. It's super nice. Peace.